Good morning guys. We are in Vermont and it is October 21st. It is my birthday and we are about to head out into Stowe. This is going to be a little Vermont weekend vlog. We're in our Airbnb at the minute and I think later when we come back I might do you a little Airbnb tour because it's quite basic but really cute. We're a bit late to get out because I've been answering like phone calls from family because like I said it is my birthday but Jake's ready to go, I'm ready to go and yeah it's going to be really nice. We've just made it to Stowe. It's a little bit rainy, but it's still very nice. And I feel like the camera can't capture the color of the leaves. They're so pretty, but we're about to go get coffee. spoken much because we've just been out and it's kind of hard to pull my camera out in the rain we just spent it's like three quarter past three now we spent the entire morning and then like afternoon in stowe and what did we get up to we went to black cap coffee which was incredible like some of the best coffee i've had in so long i got a what was it called almond joy latte it was so good i think almond joy is like a candy and then they put like almond syrup in it coconut syrup and it was so good and then jake you got a hot chocolate wait What's your review of the hot chocolate? It was chocolatey and also hot. <laughs> it was so busy though. So we didn't sit down. We got the coffee and we walked around. We went to the general store, which was so nice. And I fell in love with the jumper there, but it was like a hundred. No, it was like 90 Canadian. I didn't get it, but it was so fun. And then we went to Black Bear Books and we just walked around a couple of boutiques. Again, I fell in love with like all the clothing and everything, but I've held off because we are going to Trader Joe's and Target tomorrow. But then we went to, it's called Doc Pond, right? Or Doc's Pond? Doc, Doc Pond. Doc Pond. Doc then we, Pond. What? Doc Pond. So we went to Doc Ponds for lunch, which is like this little place sort of up behind Stowe, a bit on the mountain. It's actually the perfect viewing point for Stowe Church. So we had to wait on the waiting list for a bit. So we went and looked at Stowe Church from the viewing point, walked through this little field thing, and then we went to Doc Ponds for lunch. It was incredible. Uh, they had this squash, which was roasted with honey and then on a bed of whipped ricotta. And now we're at the Ben and Jerry's factory. So in about 10 minutes, we have a tour of the factory. We're gonna check out the flavor graveyard. Definitely get some ice cream. Yeah. yeah. Also, just at lunch, we booked somewhere for dinner. I'll show you guys what we get up to, but I think we're gonna drive up the mountain. We're gonna go to Cold Cider. Is that what it's called? Cold Hollow Cider. I'm so excited. Let's go get some ice cream. The world's the flame was red, but her eyes were blue. So instead, I was thinking of you. I was thinking of you. Her skin was soft, her laugh was light, but my heart.
So we haven't spoken since Ben and Jerry's. It's a little bit later. The Ben and Jerry's tour was so good. Wait, tell them, what do you think of the flavors? What did you have? So we had the but, cookie dough pieces. Yeah. Oh, they were so good, like, because yeah, they were fresh. They were so nice. And then mm. we had the butterscotch. I think it was just what called was butterscotch. It? butterscotch I pieces. think it was chocolate covered pretzel. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that was really nice. Exclusive to Vermont. the Vermont factory <laughs> as well. So. What's Like a fish food, classic one. And I got <laughs> strawberry cheesecake, and it was so good. I've never had it before. And also, the tour was only $8, and we got two tastings. It was so much fun as well. We just went to Cold Hollow Cider, and I just got a cider. They actually have a cider, like, tasting. What would you call that? Like, tank? A barrel or tank, yeah. <laughs> you just, like, open it on the thing, and we both had some cider, and it's so good. And I've got the hot cider here. It tastes so good. I think we're going to go for a drive around now. Thanks for coming along with us. So over there we've got the kitchen, and then if you come through, we have the bedroom. And we've got this really cute window, which I love. The view is so pretty. It's very like rural, farmy around here. But anyway, we're just checking out, so we've got to go. But it's pretty small, cozy, cute, but simple Airbnb. I just want to show you guys a little of it. And we're about to go into Burlington. We're going to go to Black Cap again for breakfast coffee. Let's get going. vlogging on my phone mainly. We have just finished up our time in Burlington. We went to so many fun places. We went to Black Cap. To be honest, I think the one in Stowe is better. I don't know if it was just the timing, like it was really busy. But I think the one in Stowe I preferred. But I still really like the coffee. I had a Snickers flavor today. We went into a bunch of stores. We went to like the ski store. I saw some really nice stuff. I didn't get anything though. So much cute stuff. Jake got a cute like little Yeti sticker. Then I think it's called Daily Planner. I'll have it up on screen. We went there for lunch and I loved it. It was so good. And there were so many amazing veggie options. We're literally at Target. So we're gonna go shopping in Target. Obviously you guys are gonna get a Target haul when I get home. Then also we're gonna pop into to Trader Joe's before we go. We just got home just talking about how much we love Vermont and we had such a good time. It was such a good birthday. So first of all, I got these Scandinavian swimmers, which are just, they're kind of like, I guess like Swedish fish, but they're like gummy uh, candy. And this is from Trader Joe's. Actually, I'm pretty sure all their gummy candy, or at least the stuff I saw didn't have gelatin in it. It's made with tapioca starch. So I picked these up because I thought that'd be so fun. 
And then when I picked these up, Jake had already picked these up, which are the sour version. And they're both veggie. So that is so good. This is actually from a small shop we went to in Burlington. It was kind of like a little bit metaphysical, very like hippie vibes. And we're actually burning this incense at the minute. So good. It is the spiritual healing incense from Satya. And I've used this incense brand tons of all, tons in the UK. Jake was looking for something that had a bit like of an oud smell and we smelled this and it is so good. It definitely reminds us of when we went to Dubai. Yeah, we haven't burned incense in forever, but I'm so glad we got this. Something else we got is this Coca-Cola Y3000. And I did try this a little bit in the car. I think it's kind of a stupid idea to be honest, but it's, it's kind of interesting. Definitely hinging on the popularity of AI, but it is a new flavor of Coca-Cola made in collaboration with AI. It kind of tastes, Jake said it really well, like if you're from the UK, rhubarb and custard sweets. It's definitely very floral. It's got like a fruity vanilla -y kind of thing to it. Definitely like a fake fruit. It was definitely interesting to try the flavor and I fell victim to the marketing ploy. Also from Target, I had to pick up Poppy. These are my favorite prebiotic sodas you can get in the US. This is the Raspberry Rose, which is my favorite flavor. And I was so upset because we were in Target and I could not see these anywhere. And they were almost picked to dry. I finally found them right at the back. There was only like maybe 10 left. I think I got around four. And then also I got strawberry lemon. Another drink I picked up is Liquid Death. I tried this when I was back in the UK. They sold it at Whole Foods there. And I don't know if they sell this in Canada, but I saw it and it was a good price. So I wanted to pick it up. I haven't seen these flavors before either. These are their iced teas. This is the Grim Leafer, which is a sweet tea with agave and vitamins. Then this is Rest in Peach, which is another sweet tea with agave and vitamins. So I love the packaging on these and I'm really excited to try them. Some, we also got some candy from Target. We got milk chocolate m &Ms. This is mainly stuff Jake got, so it's a surprise to me as well. He also got Swedish fish, which I believe is vegan, if I'm not wrong. And he got Mike and Ike's and also milk duds. I just saw this other drink as well. This is a Jake drink. I'm not into Pepsi, Cola, Coca-Cola kind of stuff. I definitely want to try this when he does try it. And it is a nitro Pepsi draft. They had the regular and they also had vanilla. I got some La Colombe coffee. I got the oat milk draft latte and I got two of those and I also got the pumpkin spice draft latte. We actually couldn't make it to Chick-fil-A while we're over in the US because it was a Sunday um, by the time we had time to go and they were closed on Sundays. But we did see some Chick-fil-A sauce in Target. So Jake picked up some Polynesian sauce. Then finishing up the Target stuff, I wanted to get a Tree Hut scrub. I've seen so much about these on TikTok and I particularly wanted, I think it's the Tahitian vanilla one, but I have to say the Target we went to, I think it was partially because it was a Sunday and also partially because it's the closest one to Montreal, but it was a bit pick dry in some areas. And I got this Coca Colada Tree Hut scrub and it smells like pina colada, particularly like coconut, a little bit of vanilla in there. So I'm still really excited to use this one. Then a couple random things that aren't US specific, but we did just get them because they were a good price. We have some fairy lights to hang up. So we got some outdoor command hooks. I got my favorite pen, which is a Uniball Signo in black 0.7. And I got a NYX Control Freak brow gel. I got this massive Starbucks cup. Now I wouldn't have got this normally because they are super overpriced, but I believe it was 22 US dollars, but it was 50% off. And I love the red color. It's subtle enough because of the reflection to not make it too in your face. It's also a little bit festive. Then the board games at Target were actually so well priced and I saw a bunch that I hadn't seen in stores in Canada. First of all, and the one I was most excited to see is Wavelength. This went absolutely viral on TikTok and it cost about $80 in Canada. I can't see the price on it, but I think it was around 30 something in the US or maybe 20 something. So definitely a lot cheaper and I'm so excited to play this one. It was also massively sold out. I'm not sure if it was in the US, but it was sold out in Canada for a long time. So I'm so glad to get my hands on this. Then we picked up code name. We also picked up Monopoly, which was just really well priced. Then we picked up Clue, which I've never played before, but Jake says is really fun. And then last thing from Target, Jake saw this Fleetwood Mac vinyl and he just got a vinyl player a couple months ago. And it was really well priced. And I believe this is the second vinyl in his collection, but it's really pretty and obviously really good music. The first time I ever went to the US, which was October last year, I got one of these Trader Joe's Rose Water Facial Toner sprays. I've made it like a really consistent part of my skincare routine. 
and I love it. And I'm only like a year later finally getting to the end of it. So I picked up another one. Then Jake and I have been loving Stroopwafels. And if you don't know what they are, they're like Dutch. They're almost like two really thin crispy waffles with a bit of caramel between them. I love dipping them in my tea or in my coffee in the mornings. And Trader Joe's had some mini Stroopwafels. So we picked these up as well. Then last two things are kind of a pair. I have this non-dairy pumpkin oat milk and I'm really excited to try this but when I was looking at it I was kind of umming and ahhing and I was like that sounds really nice I could make like a pumpkin spice latte really easily at home but then they had a little stick on it that says really good with our chai concentrate I had to pick up some chai concentrate this is really fun especially for an iced chai or a quick chai latte in the morning and they're gonna go perfectly together We also got from Cold Hollow Cider in Vermont. Jake had this really cute can glass in Leeds and I was gonna get him one for Christmas, but we saw this cute one in Cold Hollow Cider and it has like the Vermont state like shape on it. I was like, this is more special because it's from our trip. So we did get this Vermont glass as well. And that is everything we got in the US as far as I know. So follow me on Instagram, on TikTok or whatever if you wanna keep up to date and see all these other things. And then obviously subscribe on YouTube if you wanna keep up to date with me and see what's happening in the future and yeah just thank you so much for watching this vlog thanks for coming along on my birthday trip and as a birthday present i'd love if you could like and subscribe and i'd love if you left a little heart comment yeah thank you again so much for watching